and APB, American Protection Bureau, voted number one best on Long Island for all your security needs. Call 631-390-9050. That's 631-390-9050. APB. So, real quick, November 22nd, 1985, Philadelphia Spectrum. You end up with a match with Ron Shaw. Oh, okay, that's why. Okay, well, I was angry because this is <laughs> this goes to the grooming part. Here, I've beaten Ron Shaw on TV, and he's a nice guy, good guy, good way. I'm not knocking him, but it's just the way that everything was put together. Here's a guy that I have be been beaten on TV, not, not only in the Independence TV, but also uh, on on uh, in in uh, the WWF. And they put me on a, on a packed house. They put me with him in Philadelphia. Like, who? Well, who? How is David getting better? He's being the same guy that he's been on. And it just showed me right then and there. Well, see, they're not doing. This is ridiculous. Even an idiot like me can see that there's nothing going to be done. They're just, you know, they're, there's no grooming. There's no, they're just, you know, give them, give them the Duke. And that's, you know, that's, you know, that'll make them happy. That wasn't making, you know, that, that, it, it just, I, I was angry. So I thought, okay. <clears throat> and there were, had been a couple of things prior to that. I just like I was getting like, well, it, it it shows my immaturity and it shows my impatience. But at the same time, I've been around it for a while and I know what you you feel, you see, you mm. know. And, and I thought, well, I just got mad and I just says, well, did you call right on that spot, like, or did you? Just I told him. I told Ron Shaw beforehand. This is what we're going to do, and I made him do it. Okay. And uh, I said I, I just didn't care at that point. I just said, well, we're gonna we're gonna shot. But I, you know what? I, I I worked hard doing it. I didn't just you know. I made sense of it. No. I let him hurt my back, yeah, and I yeah. showed him. Boom, I made. I mean, I, I I made a match of it, and he was well. He hurt me, and I he he was the better guy that night. I didn't make. I just didn't. You know, what do they call flop or just whatever. We had David Sammartino in studio. Oh, here we go. Maybe uh, his only go. interview. Oh, here he goes. That's what? All right. I, I, I'm rooting Whatever. that he answers He, he clears his story. Uh, Listen, no, no, let, me, let me just ask the question. Can I ask the question? I've asked this question. 15 times I've been asked this question, and I've given the same answer. Why don't you just go back and Google my other shows that I was on? There's 14 other shows. But go ahead. Go All right. ahead. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead, Okay. First of all, you're on Long Island's number one pro wrestling broadcast. But so instead, here's the question I'm going to ask you. Instead of with the kayfabe bullshit and acting like he hurt his back, uh, why don't you finally reveal to the fans that Sam Martino told you what was going to happen and, uh -huh. you st and you did what you had to do because that was your role and stop keeping this story that you go for show to show to going on. Admit it on this show. Right. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to tell you something right now. Mm -hmm. First of all, what I'm going to say about David San Martino, when he came into the WWF, he was probably the strongest, if not the strongest wrestler that I've ever seen. And especially when you combine that with a great wrestling talent and knowledge of holds and counter holds, this, made this, this guy was really a super, super star. But on a fateful night, in November 1985, after two big slugs behind the back, behind his head, six or seven body slams later, which nobody can take, he walked out of that ring holding his back, and he heard it on his show. He said, I heard his back. I was the better man that night. Now, if you want to believe what he said, you go right ahead and believe what he said. But I said all I can say about it is that, and, and, and here's another thing, you Google Anywhere, YouTube, Vimeo, or any other search engine, and watch that match and see the comments below. 99.9% .9 of the fans back Big Ron Shaw. 
and they know what happened. And they, some people, that one, that small percentage, they say, well, Ron Shaw stepped in the ring. He, you can see he's telling Dusty Feldbomber to finish. I remember exactly what I said to Dusty Feldbomber just to prove you wrong and some of the other fans wrong. Is I said, hey, Dusty, it looks like a good sellout tonight. That's what I said. I wasn't telling him any finish because you know what? I had in my mind what I was going to do that night. Because when I heard some type of a rumor going on in that dressing room, I did what I was going to do, the right thing. Now, I hope that answers your question, Monty, Mr. Well, wise Guy. Well, let me try it another way. Let me try it this way. Hello, Ron. Oh, no. Did David Sammartino really hurt you? It's the kid across the or pond. Or not? You or did you give it up, Ron? Let me tell you something. Ooh. It wouldn't take me no oh, more boy. than two and a half hours to fly down there no. and slap your no. face all over that no, damn studio. Don't. You no. understand me? I'm done. Not I'm done. Come on, man. Come on, Ron. Thank you, man. Ron. You were the man. Bye, Ron. This would be the Farrow right. and Monty show. Bye, Can Ron. Let me tell you something, Monty. If I, ever do it, if I ever do a convention down in New York City, mm. I hope you're there. Over and out. Great. Good interview, buddy. Good choice. That guy was a gentleman. <laughs> that was a gentleman for you, everybody. The Matt, great Ron Shaw. Wait a minute, Matt. The great Ron Shaw. Did he? Did he? Did he hang up and just disappear just now? 